Welcome to our first video module on mechanics of materials. I'd like to compare two items, or two scenarios. One is, uh, you know, you have a friend come up. This is your, this is your shoulder right here, and a friend comes up and they, they stick their finger out like this, and they poke you. So it looks a little, put a little fingernail in there, and uh, you know, there, there, there they go. They poke you and. You know, you can imagine how it feels. Your your skin somewhat indents right there, wherever they poke, and they might actually even you know push you over, push you over, you know, with a little bit of force. The second scenario is a little bit more annoying, and that's if you go in to get a uh, to get a shot. Go in, the doctor or the nurse. They have their syringe and they're going to push that into you and your skin really like doesn't do much what ends up happening is that needle just goes right inside now in both of these situations somebody's applying a little bit of force to the same area of your body but the responses you feel are really different somebody pokes you and you're like hey how you doing maybe you topple over a little bit or over here somebody gives you a shot and you go ouch Today, we're going to look at the concept of stress. So at the core, what's the difference between the two? So let's revisit our scenario that we set up. We know that whether or not somebody pokes you or pushes you with a needle, the force that they apply, the, the resistance that you push back could be basically the same. We also know that it's not the momentum. If they somebody comes along with you and pokes you quickly with lots of you know velocity and lots of mass behind them, and somebody does the same thing with the needle, it's still going to be very different. So the difference is not momentum, and we know the difference is also not energy. In both cases, you know it's not the amount of energy. Well, what is the difference? The difference in these cases is the amount of area that it's distributed across. We call this stress, not the stress that you feel when you have an exam coming up, but rather stress is the force per unit area. An easy way that you can actually feel this is if you go ahead and stand up. You can feel on your left and your right foot basically the same uh, weight is on both of those feet. Now shift your weight to your right foot and you'll feel the pressure on your foot increases. It feels like you're pulling more with that foot. And in that case we have the same force, same weight, but we've cut the area in half. Let's go ahead and write this the way we would if we were an engineer. We're going to imagine that we have some sort of material coming like this. We'll say a block of wood or a block of metal or something like that. And it's, uh, we'll make it rectangular just because. And uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to apply some force right like this we're going to try and pull the thing and we'll say we're going to pull it with some force f so there's a nice cross section of this uh, block and this force is kind of transmitted all the way from this surface right here where it's applied all the way back to you know wherever it's mounted and for the purpose right now we're going to look at this small little section right here, this small little block. Now you're inside of a beam and you don't care what's going on all around here. In other words, you don't care the total amount of force that's being transmitted. All you care about is your part of the load. In other words, you're this little molecule and you want to know how much of that force do you have to transmit. That means that we have to figure out how much area you have. If you're a small particle, you'll have a smaller percentage. If you're, say, a larger, larger particle, you'll have a larger percentage. So we can feel that if you're inside this beam, the stress is what's important to you. It's not the total force. It's not the total amount that, you know, you're this particle and all your other friends. I mean, you know, you think about it, you can extend the beam twice as big and now you can take twice as much force. So that is stress and it's how if you're a molecule inside beam it's how you feel things. So interestingly what happens inside the beam force per unit area is very different than what happens outside the beam. 
we haven't really ever needed to deal with this. We're always working with the force applied or you know we could say what is the reaction force or the moment here we're worried about the whole system when we deal with the whole system we care very much about force if we're just looking at what's going on inside we look at stress so in our original question up here poke and a shot the difference is this area we make that area really small take a look at what happens to the stress we're making the denominator really big so the stress goes way up and in fact this is what your skin feels it feels stress not force so that's why if somebody pokes you it's no big deal you have that force distributed over a large area so you have a small stress and why a shot is not so happy because it's distributed over a small area so you have a high stress I hope this gives you a basic working knowledge of stress and an intuition of how it functions in the real world.